Good afternoon viewers, welcome to my channel Second Math Hub, the solution to your math problems. We are still solving past questions on core mathematics. And this is November, December 2024. That is NovTech 2024. Theory compulsory question one. So there is a question under sequence and series. So I want us to quickly uh, provide a solution to question one. The sum of the feet And the eighth terms of an arithmetic progression is 28 whole number, one out of five. So recall that the V term of an AP is given as A plus 4D. And the eighth term of an AP is given as a plus 7d and then sum sum means when we add them so let's add the two in terms of a and d so the fifth term is giving us a plus 4d plus the eighth term a plus 7d so when the sum of the fifth and the eighth term of an a b is giving us 28 whole number 1 out of 5 so let's simplify this a plus a 2a and then 4d plus 7d that is 11d and this must be equal to uh, let's change 28 whole number 1 out of 5 to improper fraction so there is a mixed fraction. Let's change it to improper fraction. 28 times 5 is 140 and 140 plus 1. 141 on 5. So let's do away with the fraction. So we know the LCM is 5. So we need to multiply each term by the LCM, which is 5. So 2A times 5, it should give us 10A. E. And then 11d times 5 will give us 55d. Then 141 on 5 times 5, the 5 will cancel out, giving 141. So this is our first equation. Again, if the third term, so how do you write the third term of an AP? You know that the third term of an AP is written as A plus 2D. So if the third term is subtracted from twice the seventh term, so how do you write the seventh term? The seventh term of an AP is written as A plus 6D. So now let's do something here. If the third term is subtracted from twice the seventh term, so how do you write? The, an expression for twice the seventh term, meaning that we are to multiply the seventh term by two. So twice the seventh term. We are to multiply the seventh term by two. So if the third term is subtracted from twice the seventh term, if I ask you to subtract three from five, how will you write an expression for that? Subtract 3 from 5. We have subtracted 3 from 5. How do we write an expression for, for subtract 2 from 5? So 2 from 5. So now we have to subtract the third term from twice the seventh term. So let's do that. We are subtracting the third term from twice the seventh term. So there is the expression for twice the seventh term. 2a plus 6d. Then we have to subtract the third term. The third term is giving us a plus 2d. And when you subtract the third term from twice the seventh term, 
that should give us 25 whole number 4 on 5. So let's simplify this expression. Three times a, so we want to expand. So two times a is two a, and then two times six d, twelve d. So minus, so minus one times a, minus a, and the minus one times two d, minus two d. Let's change the mixed fraction to improper fraction. We know that twenty five times twenty five times five is one two five. And one two five plus four. One two nine on five. Two a minus a. A and then twelve d minus two d. That should give us ten d. This must be equal to one two nine on five. So again, we can eliminate the fraction by multiplying each term by the LCM, which is five. So a times five, five a, and then five times ten d, fifty d, and then one two nine on five times five. The five will cancel out, leaving one two nine. So this could be our second equation so now let me align the equation one 10 a plus 55 d is equal to 141 that is equation one and then equation two 5 a plus 50 d is equal to 129 so we need to find the value of a and d by solving the equation simultaneously. So which of the variables can we eliminate? We we'll see that both equation 1 and 2, for each of the variables, the coefficients are different. But I prefer eliminating a. So to eliminate a, we need to get a third equation, such that the third equation should also have a coefficient of 10 for the variable a so how do we do that we can multiply equation 2 by 2 let's multiply equation 2 by 2 so 5a times 2 this should give us 10a and then 50d times 2 that is 100d and then 1, 2, 9 times 2, 258. So this is our third equation. We see that for equation 1 and equation 3, the coefficient of A is 10. So we can easily eliminate them. We can easily eliminate A. You see equation 1. If you want to have 10 a plus 55d is equal to 141 that is one and then for equation three we have 10 a plus 100d is equal to 258 so how can we eliminate a? So we can subtract equation one from equation three. So equation three minus equation one, starting with the variable a. So ten a minus ten a plus hundred d minus 55 d and this should be equal to 258 
minus 1, 4, 1. So as you can see, then A will cancel out. What is 100D minus 55D? This should give us 45D. And then 258 minus 141. 117. We are looking for D, so we can divide both sides by 45. So 117 divided by 45. 13.5 You can also convert it to mixed fraction and that should be 2 whole number 3 on 5 so that is a common difference or that is D so we also need to find A by substituting D is equal to 13 on 5 in any of the equations whether equation 1, 2, or 3. So let's substitute D is equal to 13 on 5 into, into which equation? Okay, let's pick equation 1. Equation 1. So what is equation one? Equation one we have ten a plus fifty five d is equal to one four one. So in place of d, you should substitute thirteen on five. So we have ten a plus. 55 times 13 on 5. So this is 143 is equal to 141. So 10 is equal to 10. For now, let's maintain 10 A. So we group like 10s. 141 minus 143. 141 minus 143. This is 2. negative 2. And since we are looking for A, we can divide both sides by 10. So A will be negative 1 on 5. So for the A part of the question, we are asked to find the... So for the A part, we are asked to find the common difference. We have to find a common difference. So what is the common difference? So that is D. So the common difference is 13 on 5. Or we can represent it in the mixed fraction form. That is 2 whole number 3 on 5. Then B. We have to find the first term. So the first term is A. So the first term is negative 1 on 5. Now C, we have to find the sum of the first eight terms of the AP. The sum of the first eight terms. Don't forget that 
some of the first in terms of an AP is giving us n on 2, 2a plus n minus 1 d. Now this time we want the sum of the first a times, meaning that n is 8. We know our first term, our first term was negative 1 on 5 and then our d as 13 on 5. So we can do the substitution. Sum of 8 is equal to 8 on 2. So 2 multiplied by the first term. The first term is negative 1 on 5 plus we know n as 8. So 8 minus 1 7 multiplied by d 13.5 8 on 2 that is 4 and this should give us negative 2 on 5 plus 7 multiplied by 13 on 5 91 on 5 so let's enter everything to the calculator maybe. Okay. So for multiplying the expression minus two on five plus ninety-one on five. So C sum of the first eight times is three hundred and fifty six on five three hundred and fifty six on five and this can also be represented in mixed fraction form as 71 whole number 1 on 5. So this is a very interesting question. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching.